did you know that amines can donate a pair of electrons as well as accept a proton to form substituted ammonium ions? So amines are bases according to both Lewis and Bronsted Lowry theories. But how are amines capable of doing these things? Come, let's find out. You must have observed vinegar or lemon juice being applied on seafood to reduce its distinctive fishy odour which is caused by the presence of amines in it. We know that chemically vinegar is an acetic acid. It reacts with the amine from the seafood and neutralises it. This shows that all amines are basic in nature. The strength of an amine as a base depends on the ability to accept a proton from an acid to form ammonium salt. In this topic, we will learn about the basic nature of amines and will also compare the basicity among different classes of amines. Amines are very reactive organic compounds due to the difference in the electronegativity between nitrogen and hydrogen atoms as well as the presence of a lone pair of electrons on nitrogen atoms. Due to this lone pair of electrons present on nitrogen, the amines behave as nucleophiles. The number of hydrogen atoms attached to nitrogen atom also decides the course of reactions of amines. Therefore, the primary, secondary and tertiary amines differ in many reactions. Let us discuss the basic nature of the three classes of amines in the gaseous state. For this, consider methyl, dimethyl and trimethyl amines as examples of primary, secondary and tertiary amines respectively. Methyl group is an electron releasing or donating group. This means it pushes a shared pair of electrons towards the nitrogen atom and increases the electron density on it. This increases the ability of nitrogen to accept a proton. Thus, basic character in aliphatic amines increases with increase in alkyl substitution. The basic nature of aliphatic amines follows the order tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary in the gaseous phase. However, in the aqueous phase, the order of basicity changes. Trimethylamine, a tertiary amine, is a weaker base than a primary amine. This is due to steric and hydration effects. The steric effect refers to the crowding of methyl groups around the nitrogen atom, which hinders the attack of proton on the amine molecule. Hydration energy is the energy released when water molecules form hydrogen bonds with protonated amine. The greater the extent of hydrogen bonding, the greater is the stabilization of amine and the greater is its basicity. As you can see, due to the overcrowding methyl groups, hydrogen bonding does not take place easily in the tertiary amine. Hence, in a tertiary amine, hydration energy is minimum, steric hindrance is maximum and therefore it is least basic among all amines. Reaction of amines with water and acids also confirm their basic characters. All three classes of amines react with water to give quaternary ammonium ions. Consider a reaction between a primary amine such as methylamine and water. Initially, water ionizes into H+, leaving behind its shared electron on oxygen atom. H+, being an electrophile, gets attracted towards the lone pair of electrons present on the nitrogen of amine. This results in the formation of positively charged quaternary methyl ammonium ion. It should be noted that the initial loss of a proton from water leaves behind hydroxide ion. This makes the solution basic. The basic nature of amines can also be seen during their reactions with acids. Consider the reaction between ethylamine, a primary amine, and hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid first splits into hydrogen and chloride ions. H plus ion then attaches itself to nitrogen atom from the amine and the lone pair present on nitrogen is shared between them through a coordinate covalent bond. A positively charged ethyl ammonium ion is thus formed. It attracts the negatively charged chloride ion which is formed earlier due to the dissociation of HCl and a salt called ethyl ammonium chloride is formed. 
Thus, like all other hydroxides, amines react with mineral acids to form salts. This shows their basic character. To conclude, we can say that the basic character of amines is proved by the fact that they react with water to form quaternary ammonium ions and hydroxide ions. All amines are basic in nature. We have also seen that the basicity of tertiary amines is maximum in the gaseous phase. In the aqueous phase, however, a subtle effect of inductive effect, hydration effect and steric hindrance of the alkyl groups decides the basic strength of alkyl amines. Did you know that the tendency of nitrogen to share electrons with acids is responsible for the basic character of amines? This also leads to the difference in basic strengths of amines. To know more about it, stay tuned for our upcoming video. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.